Welcome to Your World Within Daily. In this episode, we're going to talk about Nietzsche's famous quote, he who has a why can bear almost any how, and how injecting meaning into life can truly change its trajectory. Right. Happy Saturday morning. I hope everyone's doing well. Had a great week. Um, today I'm going to talk about a powerful topic. And I was actually sitting down with, with Steve, uh, my producer, the other day. And we're talking about how this idea of why, right? This single quote, he who has a why can bear almost any how. It shows up in, uh, in one way or another almost every book we've come across, right, from Start With Why by Simon Sinek to, you know, obviously Man's Search for Meaning by by Viktor Frankl to um, even books like Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins, like all of these concepts, um, you know, they they are derivatives of the idea that when you inject meaning into your life, your day-to-day changes. Purpose changes your life trajectory. Um, And so that's that's what I want to talk about today. But in a different way, right? So I was on the phone with um, Victor Frankl's grandson, Alex Vaselli, who's now a documentarian and, and really dives into a, a lot of what Victor Frankl does, continuing Victor's legacy um, and, and spreading his message. And one of the stories that he says on this interview is, you know, Victor was essentially helping a client and this guy couldn't stop smoking. Um, no matter what he tried to do. And Victor, whose whole concept or idea is, you know, stop living for the past. You know, don't, you're not defined by the past or the present. The future drives change. The future is the answer, right? And so he took the pack of cigarettes from the guy and he says, well, why do you want to quit smoking? I says, well, you know, I want to be around for, for my daughter. Staples the, the the picture of the daughter to the cigarettes, hands him back, and as I'm sure you can imagine, obviously the guy quits smoking. And the idea here is simple, right? When you inject meaning into the seemingly trivial, they change. Right? I'm I'm right now going through Maps of Meaning um, by Jordan Peterson, which is. I'm not quite sure. I love Jordan Peterson, but I'm not sure I'd, I'd recommend this one yet. I mean, maybe I'll get back to you. Um, but, you know, one of the concepts that I, I do like in the book is the idea, you know, it's simple. There's, there's three things. There's where you are. There's, you know, the promised land or where you want to be. And then there's how to get there. And meaning creates action, which is the only way to get there, right? There's every object has two things. It has its physical elements and it has the meaning we inject into it. And as we go through life, we essentially stop seeing things as they are. We only see the meaning that we put into things, right? What do they mean to us? In fact, really understanding the essence of what something physically is, is new. You know, man evolved for thousands and thousands of years without understanding that. We understood simply what the objects mean, how they're of use to us. And that's where I think the value from this conversation comes, right? In terms of its practicality, in terms of how we can use this information. Like one of the the, the biggest changes that I made, um, you know, in one of my most difficult chapters in my life um, was again, just sort of uh, uh, at the end of a relationship, moving, um, you know, new place, uncertainty with my view. For a second, I lost my purpose. And I remember I had a hard time waking up early. And, and for me, like getting up early is, it's that little hinge that swings a big door. Like when I get up early, I don't know why. I do not know why, but there's a, I feel good about myself. There's a productivity that I just take with me throughout the rest of the day. And I put on my alarm clock every morning on the other side of the room, this little album that I made. 
And for the first time in months when I'd go over, this is I think 2017, I'd go over to uh, the phone and I wouldn't see the alarm, right? Because my tendency would be to, to tap it and go back to bed. What I'd see is this, this little album that represented what made me most happy in life, that reminded me of what I wanted, that reminded me of life's upside and life's opportunity. The alarm clock after that decision or that change was injected with a meaning that coincided with my purpose. Right? It felt like not, not a box I had to check, but like a launch pad to what I wanted most. And that helped me transition. And that's just like the cigarette example. In other words, significant change, or, or even you could say progress, which is change, um, comes from taking what's around you, identifying what you want, and then positioning the things around you um, to coincide with that meaning. I think those two things together can be a very, very powerful thing. And, you know, there are plenty of books. Actually, a few weeks back, I gave it uh, on this podcast, right, a very detailed uh, overview of some of the James Clear Atomic Habit concepts, uh, Charles Duhigg, you know, The Power of Habit. I mean, all that stuff's there to, you know, explain the nuance of habit building. But I want to precede that with just the simple idea, the simple concept that, you know, the world as we see it consists of things and the meaning we give things, right? And so if you can truly take some time to understand what means the most to you, right? The, the metaphorical picture to go on the pack of cigarettes, you can position the world around you like a puzzle to help yourself out, to be your greatest ally. Because um, that story right, will, will always be meaningful to you. It is the manifestation of what you want most, um, and, and it's where change comes from. So I hope there's something you could take from that and uh, inject into whatever it is you're trying to do, build, create, uh, you name it. So if you enjoy this podcast, if it helps, um, I'd greatly appreciate that you subscribe, that you rate and review. Um, you know, I say it every single day. It helps me get this out to the world, and that is priority that means the most to me so i appreciate that and i'll see you guys tomorrow